Alright folks, welcome to this exciting video where we're once again joined by the channel DJ on this adventure but this video is something a little bit different because today is like storm aftermath storm Erwin or something it was called swept across Scotland and that and literally, check this out folks look how many trees have fallen down here this is actually Lontraith and Loch here behind us and normally obviously there's like a forest here but you can pretty much see i would say what 60 or 70 percent of the forest has been flattened like <laughs> 70 percent of this forest here folks it's down so we'll take a walk up here and here look we've never seen carners like this here for years again it's just absolutely savage you always have to watch out for sticks and stuff hanging above your head to if there's a tree top or something that's been blowing it's crazy like check the size of these trees they've all been cut and so folk can still use the road but normally obviously there's two lanes here look at that eh? bits of trees at like both sides of the road savage like when this was falling down it must have been so scary driving down this road like there was a red weather warning for folk to stay at home and can that is that's why folks it's just unreal okay and in the last video you probably saw we were at what is it the den of early and it, everything just looked fine kind okay, a week later this is the sort of devastation you can get with a scottish storm wreaking havoc on the countryside it's the true power of nature but it is cool to come and like document this and yeah, show it on the video, share it with the world, and it is unreal. There's tons of people be out power and stuff for a few days here, and like there's a couple of people be out water as well, where the trees have uprooted and like broken the water pipes and stuff. So yeah, incredible scenes, folks. Look at this one here. The middle bit's just been cut out. Yeah. Even coming up here, we were driving over like cables and stuff which had fallen over the road. Look at this here. <laughs> That's the size of it, like. It's not a massive tree, but it's pretty big. It's an average sized tree, I would say. But like, when that comes down, that would crush a car. Yeah. It's insane. And like, all these little branches snap off as the tree comes flying down the hill yeah some of these fences have been here for years and it's just ruined but like that's the thing see when a tree's fallen and it knocks off loads of other wee branches yeah. they can go flying for miles yeah. and that's how it looks like this with the carpet of green yeah if that <laughs> if that hit you on the head like you'd be a goner folks there is a little dam in the forest up here we could hear look oh, like. We'll go up and take a look at the dam, folks. Look at this, folks. It's absolute carnage here further along the road, too. Look at this. It's a scene of utter devastation here. Trees uprooted and toppled. And they're just like dominoes in the wind. Yeah, they're creaking and stuff, because they're all leaning on each other. Look at this, they've all just been cut off, you know? Look at this, folks, it's like mud on the road here. Like, I'm not sure how so much mud has gone on the road at this point, eh? Oh look, this tree here snapped in half. Here, that's a massive beech tree. That is a huge beech tree right there down like. Wow. Well, I think this big tree's come down and knocked all these little trees because there's a few small ones growing. Look at it here, eh? the trees have just snapped. Look at it, oh, it's come from way up there. And it's broken all those branches on the way down. 
That is incredible. Look at this folks, at this windy little crossroads here at the foot of Ballantor and the foot of Glen Isla. There's this old post box folks, and look. This is one of the oldest ones we've seen I think. I think Jag Betty has been to this post box before like on his videos, so shout out Jag Betty. Hope everyone checks his explorers out too. But yeah, we thought we would have a look as we're turning this corner here. But like this must be an old post box for a time gone by. That must have been where they had like parcels and stuff. Look at this folks, this is a little dam here which I'm pretty sure the measure like the, the water flowing into Lintraith and Loch so they can gauge the amount of water and stuff that they've got in the loch because it's actually a water supply for Angus and Dundee but I think this is the location I came to on the first the first ever explore when I got this camera like last year so it's cool we're, we're back here after a crazy storm for a whole new explore folks and look at the character of this wee building here oh there's trees stuck in the dam look at this folks look at the old door handle there and even the hinges this is crazy Check it out. Trees, total stuff in the top of the metal there. Oh, there's trees down up there as well. Trees down over here. Wow, this is just incredible to see this sort of stuff, folks. It's quite deep here. And then the steel comes all the way into here. Well, the cast iron, look. It's all the way into here. It's like a double cast iron piece in there. Look at the size of the like gussets and stuff on that. Under the water here folks, we've just noticed there's a pipe there leading along here. And it must lead into this little hut here. And I think what that could have been, after pondering it for a few like minutes, it's about the same height as the overflow here, and I'm guessing it could be an old system that they used to use, so if the water level had dropped so low, it must have set something off in here, and it can, potentially, they could have come and monitored it that way, in a bygone era, because it is blocked off now the end of the pipe. But all I can think is that's what it would be because it's like the same height as the overflow right there, so. Who knows, folks? It could be a bit of history from a bygone era. The size of this cast iron piece of stuff, though, is just insane. Look at this folks, there's this little hut here. It must be maybe a gamekeeper's hut or something. I can see the front windows open, so I'm not sure if it's like for pheasants or something, maybe inside it. I don't know, they wouldn't have baby pheasants pheasants with the this time of year. I don't even know. Oh, it's so cold folks on the fingertips. I can't even describe this cold wind which is coming down off this hill. All the hills at the back now have got snow on them. Within a week. It's actually changed. Look, it's snowing right now. Don't know how well that comes out on the camera. The snow is falling all around us. These sheep are out here are just not even bothered. It's like zero degrees and they're just standing there hen they're eating their grass. This is further up, this is further up the Glen Isla Road. Now we're in the Channel DJ's car right here. Shout out Channel DJ. 
we're out in a storm. What sort of car is this? MX5, folks. 1.8 litre, rear wheel drive, perfect for a Scottish storm. And look at these trees over the top of the road. Look at the size of this tree here on the right hand side. What? <laughs> if that fell down on there, like, boom, you're a wah. Oh, this is pure ice. Two Mazdas meeting on the road here. That went well. Crazy scenes out here, folks. Just trees and everything, just doing everywhere. Absolutely savage. Every time you go around the corner, you don't care if there's going to be like more trees just across the road and stuff. It's insane. Look at this, folks. This is like the other side of Lantrethan Loch, just over there. That's crazy. And look at these trees. Just right over the road. All oh, this has been cut so cars can get through. That's a strong wall there, like. And look at this corner here, like all the trees is down at this corner. The trees look like they've been there for a long time. They're beech trees as well. That's insane. Look at this folks, this is the Lantrethan War Memorial here and look, the tree is literally on top of it, it's broken the fence. That's such a shame to see that. That's been a big tree top there. I can smell like the pine mm -hmm. smell from the trees. Look at this, there's an old phone box here folks for back in the day. See this folks, the back road run by Canardy Lock and that is totally blocked with trees up here. It's totally insane folks, the bits of stick are just like under the car. It's crazy scenes out here. Three point turn. We're literally limited to where we can explore today because of like the craziness of the storm just blocked a lot of the roads and stuff so yeah here we are we're just checking out the aftermath of the storm folks and it is crazy to see
massive plane up here, folks. Massive aeroplane. Looks like it's like, shouldn't even be flying, it's going so slow. So, is it one of those glider things or something? This plane is coming back out of the storm right above us, folks. What is even going on? This, this is a prop plane. Look at that, I'm going to record it one day. What's going on with that? Go and stop the car. Look at that plane, folks. That plane is doing some strange, dangerous maneuvers, folks. It's going in and out of that snowstorm, and like, look at that. Ah, folks there's a gap in the clouds and I'm wanting to see that boy in the plane flying through it that would be a good shot it's strange that's just the edge of a snowstorm there and then the edge of another storm out this side yeah we are going to the centre I hope it's not a tornado this is Cadden Wood here at the back of Kerrymuir folks and check it out it's another scene of devastation out here Pretty soon we're away to head up on our next adventure up by this Court Hill Road and it's as long as we can get up this road. But yeah, you're gonna see some true devastation up there if it's again if it's not totally blocked. Look at this folks, this is crazy. Trees doing up boys getting firewood and stuff right here. See that? Shout out if you're watching this video, mate, again, shout out. Getting a bit of firewood on a stormy day, can't I blame a boy. This bit around this corner here is a way to be savage. What's happened here? How's the cars parked? What a stupid place to park a car. Wow, what's even happened here? Why is there cars here? Oh, look at the wall, oh, look at that. Wow, the size of these trees, folks. Look at this over here. These trees have just savagely snapped. Wow. It says I am safe in the back window of this car. Like They must have had to abandon their cars last night. That's what it is. Because I would say that's a wow. stupid place to park. Check the size of these <laughs> branches and stuff. Crazy scenes, folks. Look at that. It's been breaking the, the dikes. Yeah, that wall is going to get need some repair. Wow, this is Cork Hay Estate, isn't it? Early Estates. Yeah. There's one of their driveways, and look, it's just full of late uh, trees. Wow. wow, it's just absolute carnage around here, folks. I'll keep recording it here, because look at this. Look at this here on the right. <laughs> it's massive, massive oh. trees. Insane scenes, folks. <laughs> like, we've never seen it as bad around these neck of the woods. Like,
Look at this, folks. Every time you go around the corner, there's more carnage. Here, I've still got this water on my lens here. Sorry about this, folks. Water on the lens for the last clap when I was hanging you at the windy. Look at the size of this, like, tray. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's just unreal, man. Unreal devastation. Like, we've never seen it on the channel this bad. We're limited to the explorers we can go on this week, folks, but at least I can share with you the savage nature here of Scotland. Look at this, even here at this house. Massive trees down in their front garden. Look, look at all these ones here. It's crazy. Oh, is that a holly tree or something there? Or maybe the holly tree is getting flattened by the other one. Wow. This is crazy folks, like this whole forest to our left has blown down, like not even an exaggeration, there's like, like 90% of that forest there is blown down. Look at this, like what is even going on? I've no even, I can't even exaggerate to you how much of that forest is blown away. It's all just lying. Can they were making new roads in it to take trees out, but yeah. They'll not hit a bother now. <laughs> they don't hit fell any of these trees. Check the snow up here though. Kind of drifted in this little bit here. That could be pure ice. Wow. Anyway, folks, we're up this glen. Cause our next adventure here starts at this glen, but you'll hear tune in, in the next video for that. And in this episode we've been documenting how crazy the weather's been. And it has been insane. Right folks, we've reached the end of this episode and we've reached our destination here where we're, we're about to begin our next adventure now going up to Airly Monument because the scenes of carnage here is crazy but yeah, we've recorded quite a lot for one episode so yeah, I can't exaggerate how bad the wind has devastated all this like forests and like 90% of the trees here have blown down 90% of the trees all are in, folks have blown down, even these little ones at the side. I can hear somebody with a chainsaw in the distance, but this, like 90% of this forest here is blown down. I don't know why those ones have remained standing, they've just been That's so lucky. That chainsaw, yeah, anyway folks, I'll end this video here. Thanks very much for watching. It's goodbye for me, goodbye for the channel DJ, and we'll see you very soon in the next adventure when we scale this incredible wintry weather destroyed hell it's going to be crazy folks tune in soon